So you should have your clay wrapped in a wet paper towel, sealed in your bag. That will keep it nice and soft. You always want to put your clay away like that. And to begin, you're gonna take enough clay too much. You want to take enough clay to make a ball that fits in the palm of your hand. So you don't want it too big or too small. It will be too hard to work with. You can make it nice and smooth. I like to make a ball between my palms. The palm is that part of your hand. Other people like to make a ball rolling it on the table like that. Once you have your ball, you're gonna take your thumb and stick it into your ball, not through, but just in like that. And now we're gonna make the body of our little owl. So we don't want it to get too wide. We're not making a pot, we're making a little owl. And again, remember your alligator fingers to pinch it. And then if it's uneven there, you can tap it on the table. Make it nice and smooth. Maybe roll it a little bit like that. And then I noticed in our story that the owls had pointy ears and I really liked that. So I'm gonna pinch each side of my owl body to make pointy, feathered crown that owls have. And now we need to make the big round eyes. I don't have um, a lid to make it, but I do have a pencil and I'm going to put my pencil in. And look, I made the stamp of an eye. Do that again. I also have this little berry of a tree I found. You might have a little rock, and I'm going to see if that makes them a little bit bigger. I want really big owl eyes. So you can use what you can find at your house to make big round owl eyes. Next, we're gonna make the pointy beak. And I'm just going to draw into my clay with a pencil. And now we need to give it patterns of feathers. I'm going to pinch my owl a little bit to indicate the little feathers. But you can make your owl body how you want it to be shaped. And then I'm going to take this paper clip I have, so you can find, you don't have to have a paper clip, find something you can press into your owl, into your clay, to make feathers. You can also go back to using your pencil and just draw marks in. I'm gonna draw a couple marks up here on his ears. And the great thing about clay, if you make a mistake, you just kind of mush it up, like an eraser almost, and do it again. Don't forget the back, I'm gonna make tail feathers.
Now, there's my little owl. We want our owls to dry. So this is air dry clay. That means you're going to find somewhere safe for it to sit out in the air and probably in about a week, your owl is going to be nice and hard and we can paint it later. We need to make a nest for our little owl. So you're going to take about the same amount of clay, so a ball that should fit in your hand, and roll it again into a ball. Doesn't have to be perfect. And just like with our owl, we're gonna stick our thumb in it. But this time, we're going to make more of a pinch pot because we want to make something big enough to put our owl in. So with my alligator pinchers, I start pinching my clay into shape. I can tap it so it's flat. And I start opening it up. If you see your clay kind of cracking, you'll get your little cup of water. Put one finger in, one tiny bit of water and you can smooth it out. You don't never want to add too much uh, water to your clay though because it will turn into kind of like a slimy mud and you won't be able to handle it very well. I want to try and make the walls of my nest even. And then I want to measure to see if my owl fits in. Oh, sorry little owl. Now I want to add texture to my nest. I'm going to take some of the sticks and leaves I found outside and press it in to my clay, making texture. You might need to Support it with your fingers so you don't collapse it. Actually, let's try these. This might work a little better than those leaves. Okay. Don't forget the inside. So think about what nests are made out of. They're usually made out of sticks, dried grass, feathers. They have lots and lots of texture. So I'm using tools to draw into my clay. You could also use a pencil. So we also want our nest to dry. We're going to put our owl in our nest to dry. And the reason we do this is clay shrinks as it dries. So if we don't leave our little owl in his nest, the nest might shrink too much when it dries and he will not fit in his nest. You're going to put your owl and your nest somewhere safe and you're gonna let them dry for about probably a week. And then we will look at using watercolor paint or other tools to paint our owl and nest. 